continue again, the rich man and Lazarus, Luke 16, 19 to 31. We saw yesterday the rich man, Lazarus, covered with sores. Now it happened the poor man died, Lazarus, and was taken by the angels. The rich man also died and was buried. In his torment, he looked up and saw Abraham a long way off with Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried out, Father Abraham, pity me, and sent Lazarus. Right? What do we see here? Now you need the assistance of Lazarus when you were on the face of the earth. You never bothered with him because you felt victorious. You felt sure. You felt certain you were surrounded by wealth. Now you are in H-E-L-L, -L, surrounded by torment, and you are now begging Lazarus to render assistance. And what we are told, remember your time on the face of the earth. Good things came to you. Ugly things came to Lazarus, and we are told in verse 26, that is not all. Between us and you, there is a great gulf fixing us. We can't move. So even if I want to come down, I can't come down. You cannot come up either. So let us be mindful of that. Let us do good while we are on the face of the earth. Because when we close our eyes, I don't think we will have time to make any kind of reparation let us do good while we are on the face of the earth so god gives you wealth whether it be financial talents gifts let us use them to render assistance to others sometimes it's not so difficult right you're eating your food just throw the little sandwich by the others lazarus get it you don't have to write but no not even that you allowed lazarus to get and because of that, now you, the tables have turned, perspective is different. You are begging the same Lazarus whom you denied to come and render assistance. It is not so. A great gulf is between heaven and hell that separates good from bad, sheep from good. Dear friends, let us try to aim for the best, treat others with dignity care and concern while we are on the face of the earth. Amen.